fourth grade. Mrs. Velez and Snaily back to teach you about something new in that wonderful packet. You've been learning this lesson number two is about reason and evidence. So a reason is why you should do or think something. And evidence is facts. So authors use reason and evidence to persuade you. So to try to get you to do something. Um, there's a really easy example and it might have been hiding. So you might have read this book before when you were smaller. Don't let the pigeon stay up late or don't let the pigeon ride the bus. Any of the pigeon books. Um, the pigeon is trying to persuade. So in this book, they're trying to persuade you, get you to let them stay up. And here is a good example of, he gives some evidence. Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. So that's his evidence. His reason might be something like this. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Now, what you wanna stay away from as an author is emotional language. So getting you to feel bad about something. And sometimes the pigeon does that, good or bad. Like, oh, if you really loved me, you would let me stay up late. So that's a good example of um, reason and evidence. And now for a public service announcement. Use reason and evidence. Stop. Reasons. Why you should do or think something. Evidence. Or the facts. Emotional language, eh, trying to make you feel good or bad. That is why authors use reason and evidence, and so should you.